I am showing these footages because carbon emission is a much bigger problem in India than it seems to be. Many countries are striving hard to reduce carbon emissions. The US has committed itself to a net zero emission target by 2050 and the country is also trying hard to get other countries on board with this plan. Several other countries including the UK, France, Canada, South Korea and Germany have already enacted laws promising to achieve a net zero emission scenario by the middle of the century. Even China has promised to go net zero by 2060. India, which is the third largest carbon contributor in the world after the US and China, is also being asked to join the net zero target now. John Kerry, the US President's Special Envoy on Climate, is currently on a three-day visit to India. He is here to revive its climate change partnership with India that Donald Trump in his presidency had put on hold. So what is net zero carbon emission? Net zero actually refers to carbon neutrality, but it doesn't really mean that a country's carbon emission would be brought down to zero. Rather, net zero is a state in which a country's emissions are compensated by absorption and removal of greenhouse gases from the atmosphere. Carbon can be absorbed by creating more carbon sinks such as forest and it can be removed from the atmosphere through futuristic technologies such as carbon capture or storage. Now, this is not an immediate attempt to reduce the carbon footprint, but a very active campaign is underway from the last two years to get every country on board with the net zero goal. It is being argued that global carbon neutrality by 2050 is the only way to achieve the Paris Agreement target of keeping the planet's temperature from rising beyond 2 degrees Celsius compared to pre-industrial times. This way, it is even possible for a country to have negative carbon emission if the absorption and the removal exceed the actual emission. The perfect example for this is Bhutan, where absorption is more than carbon emission. So theoretically, a country can become carbon neutral at its current level of emissions or even by increasing its emissions if it is able to absorb or remove more. Anyway, it is a big relief for the developed countries as the burden now is shared by everyone and does not fall only on them. Earlier, the discussions used to be on emission reduction targets for 2050 or 2070 for rich and developed countries whose unregulated emissions over several decades are mainly responsible for global warming and climate change. But the net zero target does not assign any emission reduction target on any country. So is India on board? Actually, India is the only country that is opposing it because it is likely to be affected by it the most given the unique position India is at. India's carbon emissions are likely to increase in the country and grow at the fastest pace. Even afforestation and reforestation may not be able to compensate for the emissions in the country. Also, the carbon removal technologies, apart from being very expensive, are not completely reliable. Secondly, India has already signed an agreement under the 2015 Paris Agreement for Climate Change. The agreement only requires every signatory to take the cl best climate action it can. The signatories need to set 5 or 10 year climate targets for themselves and show they have achieved them. For India, the implementation of this program has only begun this year. India argues that instead of signing a separate agreement for net zero, countries should stick to targets they have already set for themselves. Moreover, this is not the first attempt to crack down on greenhouse gas emissions. Prior to this, environmental agreements like Kyoto Protocol did not turn out so well as no country was able to deliver on the promises it had made for the year 2020. There were also commitments of providing money and advanced technologies to poor as well as developing countries, yet that attempt did not work. Keeping these experiences in mind, India wants to stick to the Paris Agreement and work towards meeting a short-term goal. New Delhi is hoping to lead by example. It is well on its way to achieving its three targets under the Paris Agreement and looks likely to overachieve them. Nevertheless, the net zero goal is not completely ruled out. India is just inclining towards the Paris Agreement more.